Hey everyone, no art, no glory here. I um, wanted to do a quick video for those of you that use Tilt Brush and want to utilize Live uh, to have an avatar um, create things and do recordings if you do not have a green screen, which is a great feature that Live is offering uh, through their software. Um, just to note, I'm using a Quest 2 uh, virtual desktop and running Tilt Brush through my PC uh, for this video. Uh, you might have a different setup, but this setup and system works for me in utilizing the avatar feature. So first things first, we're going to launch Virtual Desktop in my Quest 2. And for some reason, um, I did find that you do have to launch Tilt Brush first in order to get this to work properly. Uh, it might be different for you, but this system works uh, best for me. So we're going to open Tilt Brush. We're going to let it load up. It's going to take a few moments here. And once you're inside Tilt Brush, you're going to create a new sketch, kind of have things ready so you can kind of play around with your avatar. So what you'll notice here in the video, I'm showing arrows circling the ground because when you have Live running, you're actually going to see a Live icon show up inside Tilt Brush that you're going to click on um, to activate everything and set up your cameras and your avatar within Tilt Brush itself. Um, so Tilt Brush is running. We're going to back out of it, go back to desktop, and then we're going to launch Live. And I launch it from my desktop itself, not through Steam. Uh, Live is available for free via Steam, just so you know. So we're going to start our first capture here. All my settings are all set already with my avatar, my camera angles. Um, so I'm not going to walk you through that process, but I can answer questions about that if need be. So you can see um, everything's in sync. You can see me waving to you. Um, and Live is all set up with camera angles and my avatar is loaded. Right now, we are now back inside Tilt Brush. And inside Tilt Brush, you can now access Live settings. So you can choose your avatar, other avatars. Um, you can change your settings for your avatar, like removing your legs, which is really strange, but kind of fun. Uh, you can remove your head if you're doing something really creepy. <laughs> um, and also you can change how you view the camera within Tilt Brush itself. Um, so if you click on uh, the settings here under the kind of camera view, uh, you can click on camera, which is a floating camera in the space. You can click on HUD, uh, which is attaching the camera to your headset. Um, and then you also can attach the camera to your wrist as well, which is kind of awkward. I didn't really like that for the purpose of tilt brush. Uh, so I stuck with the general camera uh, where you can move around um, how big you see this in the scale of it within tilt brush itself. And as you can see, my avatar is functioning and I am able to create items with tilt brush and create a scene. You will notice that for some reason within the camera capture itself, the brush strokes that are in front of you will not show up or the opacity gets lower so you can still see your avatar. Uh, I'm, there might be a, a setting that you can change this. I think there is an opacity uh, change of your avatar in the settings, uh, but you'll see that it's hard to tell in the video. But when I paint the strokes in front of my character, um, they actually disappear in front of front of Thanks so much for watching and please, any questions you have, please comment below.